Hi, this is Thomas from Apex Skim Tools. In this video, we'll be looking at qualifiers in Apex Utility AI. The qualifiers job is um, to qualify the utility of a certain action um, in the context of a selector. So each qualifier will score uh, whatever its action aims to do um, with a certain score so that the selector can select between them. How the qualif qualifier scores uh, depends entirely on what um, the action uh, it scores is. So for instance, if it's a qualifier that um, qualifies the action to attack, it will likely look at uh, if it has enemies in range, if it has enough ammo, if it has a weapon at all, and, and so forth. If it's a qualifier for moving, it will look at uh, the different options for moving uh, and select between those. Uh, and score based on how um, much of a utility it will be to the unit to do that action. Um, there are a few different types of uh, qualifiers uh, included with the Apex Utility AI. Um, there are some simple qualifiers and some slightly more advanced qualifiers. If we take a look, uh, we can see in the list now this list contains a little bit more than uh, what is actually included because this is the example project where there are some additional qualifiers available but the ones available out of the box are the all or nothing qualifier, a fixed score qualifier, sum of children and sum while above threshold. I will just briefly touch on each of these. Now let's start with the fixed score. This is uh, the, the most simple qualifier. It simply has a fixed score as it says, so it will always return a fixed score. The all or nothing, let's just add it so you can see it. So it just has a fixed score that you can set and this will be returned no matter what. The next option uh, is the all or nothing qualifier. If you have watched the survival shooter with video, you, have has, you will have seen um, this type of qualifier. Um, this qualifier relies on something called a contextual score or several contextual scores to produce its score. So it doesn't actually score anything itself. Rather, it uh, delegates the scoring to its scorers um, and it also has a threshold. So for this one that means the all or nothing qualifier re uh, relies on all of its scores, uh, combined scores, to be above the threshold in which case it will return the score. Whereas if it is below the threshold it will return zero. So it is a binary a qualifier, it either scores uh, the full score of the scores or it scores zero. This type of qualifier is called a composite uh, qualifier um, because it is made up from uh, child elements or child scores. There are no scores included uh, with uh, Apex Utility AI, so the, all the scores uh, will be something that you create yourself. We will be looking at an example um, in the code um, shortly. So let's move on to the next type of qualifier. Um, we have a sum of children. It is again a composite qualifier, um, so it has some scores. Now this one simply returns the score uh, that is the sum of all of its uh, child scores. Similarly to the selector we covered in the last video, high score wins that sums all of its, uh, also looks at all of its um, qualifiers. This one also sums all of its scores and just returns that score. And uh, finally we have one called sum while above threshold. So this is again an early access, sorry, early exit type of qualifier, um, similar to what we covered in the last video with the first score win selector. Now this one will sum its scores while they are above the threshold. So let's say we have a threshold of 10. It will sum all of its scores that we had attached until one of them scores below 10. Uh, 
if that happens it will stop scoring any further and just return um, the sum so far. If all of them score above 10 it will obviously return the full sum of all scores. When to use uh, which type of score um, obviously depends on what you intend to score. So it's up to you to select which uh, type of qualifier you want to use or create a custom qualifier on your own which we'll get back to in just a second. So that was the, the built-in qualifiers. Um, the qualifiers like selectors they have a context menu so when you click it um, you have the ability to add an action or you can add another qualifier as well or you can change the type of the qualifier to some other type of qualifier. Um, the action associated will get back to actions in detail when in the next video but um, you can select from obviously different actions available or you can use the special action called a um, selector action which will connect this qualifier to another selector and thereby execute that selector. You do that, you do that simply by um, dragging from this little point and then just dragging to some other selector to connect to that. You can also just disconnect by dragging to an open area. So let's switch to code view and see how you would go about uh, creating your own qualifiers. Qualifier is, uh, you have a few options. Um, one is to derive from the qualifier base class as you see here. When you do that, you have a single method to overwrite called score. It is given a reference to the context and this is what you will then use to score um, whatever it is that this qualifier should be scoring. Another option is to use um, this. This is a generic version of the base class for qualifiers instead of uh, getting this generalized context reference it will then get a specialized. So this will be the implementation of the generic form. If you use the um, standard form um, where you have just the general uh, interface you, you will need to cast your context to the concrete type of your um, context in order to use it because the IAI context itself contains no properties or fields. So basically you would do like this example context and then the context and then you can use this context cast um, to the appropriate type. So this is the alternative way of doing it. And why this this is always another line of code, but it is actually a slightly more performant way of doing it um, than using the generic form. There is one last option, and that is to implement um, the I qualifier interface uh, all the way. Um, so instead of actually deriving from a base class, you could simply implement I qualifier, um, which will, as you can see require you to implement a bit more. Um, we obviously recommend that you just simply use the base class uh, as for the most part there is no reason to um, implement the rest of the qualifier. It is already implemented in the base class. Now as mentioned you get this uh, method and you need to score and return a score and the logic uh, used in the scoring is entirely up to you. It can be simple, simply returning, as this does right now, a uh, fixed score. Or it can be more advanced, uh, using utility curves and use uh, return scores uh, of a varying nature, uh, depending on the situation um, given by the context. So this is if you want to implement your entirely uh, new uh, type of qualifier. If instead um, you simply use uh, one of uh, the three different types of composite qualifiers, what you need to do is instead implement uh, different types of scores that are then used in those qualifiers 
to um, get the score of that qualifier. Now, uh, contextual scores, uh, are, they are called. Um, they derive from contextual score base. At, um, in the same way as we saw just before with the qualifier, this also has a generic overload and it also has an interface that you can implement. Um, but we do it like this. Uh, and now just keep it to this example. As you can see, we have a the same type of method. It has a score. Uh, given a context and then you simply uh, calculate whatever score this score um, should score and return that. So that's it for qualifiers and their associated type contextual scores. In the next video we'll be looking at actions, so see you there.